The year was 1964. The Beatles dominated the charts. Tell you Lyndon Johnson occupied the White House. There is no cause for self-satisfaction. And Pat Brown was the governor of California. The question that disturbs millions of concerned California is this. That same year, a young lawyer in San Francisco named Willie Brown was elected to the state assembly. House will please be in order. Brown, a Democrat, was one of a handful of black legislators at the time. Driven, outspoken, a showman, Brown rose through the ranks and was described as one of the most powerful state lawmakers in the country. Yes, there will be a solution. The form of that solution, I'm not yet willing to predict. He was assembly speaker for 15 years, the longest in state history. After leaving the Capitol, he was elected mayor of San Francisco. And although not in office, Willie Brown is still very much involved in California politics. True to form, he has a lot of thoughts and he does not shy away from sharing them. In our May edition of The Ticket, we talked to Brown about the state's challenges, Governor Gavin Newsom's job performance so far, and the 2020 presidential race. On a sunny spring day, the waterfront in San Francisco is a popular place among locals and tourists. Thousands walk the famed Embarcadero to catch a glimpse of the endless views. But as they stand on this corner, what they don't know is in a building just feet away is a man as much of a fixture in California as the bridge his office is across from. At the age of 85, Willie Brown showing no signs of slowing down. Do you come to the office five days a week? What's a day in the life of Willie Brown Seven like? days a week. Seven days a week. I do something seven days a week uh, in the world of uh, law practice, in the world of advising my fellow politicians, in the world of communicating with the media, because I don't have any responsibility for the homeless, for the druggies, <laughs> for crying. I, I have done my bit there and now I can reflect on others. Which is exactly what I asked him to do, starting with the person who succeeded him as mayor, Governor Gavin Newsom. I think he's done extremely well. He inherited a state in which uh, Jerry Brown was considered uh, an icon in every sense of the word. Newsom also inherited a sizable multi-million dollar surplus from his predecessor, but Brown doesn't see that as a positive. Jerry Brown had left lots of things undone. He had been very careful to make sure that he left um, a considerable amount of money in, in the uh, account, so to speak, and that spoke well with people. But Newsom had to address the issue and is addressing the issue because that account not utilized has created a lot of problems. He recognizes those problems include homelessness and housing, but thinks there should be another primary focus. Public education. I think public education constitutes the foundation for a continuation of what California has become for the world, the fifth or sixth largest economy in the world. You've got to have talented people to drive that engine. And no matter the issue, Brown says Democrats have the power to fix it. With their super majorities in both houses and their control of the statewide offices, there should not be any discussion about whether or not they will, they should. We need to devise a structure that allows for a generic fit in speaker rather than a personality fit. The balance of power during Brown's reign as assembly speaker was much different than now. He was often known to reach across the aisle and work with Republicans. The party has since declined at the Capitol, but he doesn't think it's completely over for the GOP in California. In this state, I don't think the party is dead. No party is permanently dead. And I think at some point uh, there will be um, a resurrection, so to speak, uh, but uh, it may not be in my lifetime. We also talked about the race for president in 2020. We should not be looking just for the best Democratic candidate. We ought to be looking for somebody who for sure can beat Trump. Because the American dream and our American democracy are under attack. And Brown believes that candidate is a fellow Californian, a person with whom he had a personal relationship with, Kamala Harris. She is a woman, and America has got to embrace a woman leader at some point, and the Democrats have got to lead that.
So with your wealth of knowledge and all of your experience and everything you've achieved in your career, is there anything that you look back on and say, I wish I would have done this? I don't think that uh, there'd be any reason to think that maybe I should have done something else. I loved doing the things that I've done and I love the fact that I'm still alive. We also talked about a group Brown says Democrats have ignored. He feels his party has not done enough to engage the farming community. You decide